is our first, first one on one international trip. Cheers. Cheers. I'm in Thailand right now at the nicest hotel that I've ever been to. I'm traveling and following an itinerary that was built for me by the most incredible travel agency called Elsewhere. Usually I'm all about like knowing the itinerary and my calendar before I go anywhere, but because this was like a whole travel experience, I wanted to actually come not having looked at the itinerary. Like I didn't want to study it. I didn't want to know exactly where I was going. So I've just been like going with the flow or really like training myself to go with the flow. I got picked up by the tour guide and now I'm here and I'm here for one night at Capella. This trip is also gonna be crazy because we're staying everywhere like one to two nights max. So we're like really on the go, like gotta be packing, experiencing. I'm so excited. And I just gotta say, Elsewhere really hooked this up. I found Elsewhere through a friend and basically I could just like plug in the destination I wanted to go to, tell them exactly how much I wanted to spend. And this trip is for me and my mom, which I'm so excited for. And then they built out an entire custom itinerary based off of what I wanted to experience, which was a mix of like city things, a lot of nature, a lot of food. And they built out this whole itinerary and then paired me with basically a 24 seven concierge service. Pricing wise, it's a lot more affordable than I think, or at least that I expected it to be. And for me, like, I don't know if and when I'm ever gonna come back to Thailand. I hope I come back again, but I wanted to just experience like all of it. I need to give you a room tour. So you walk into the hotel room and immediately the view is just Stunning. Here are the two little beds, furry little slippers. They have a whole setup of drinks. And I don't know if those are soaps or something to eat. I think they're supposed to eat because it says taste of Thai right there. TV. I mean, I just cannot get over this view. And then out there, there's like these infinity pools, but that is not for me. That is for like a different, a different suite. Anyways. So then here's my little outdoor space where there's some lounging. It's really hot and humid outside. So I don't know if I'm going to use that though. If you go this way, I've never been in a hotel room that has a walk-in closet. Like what is this? And they gave, like they give you, I think this is just like to use a nice little tote bag in case you just wanna like, yeah, literally this leisure bag is for your use during your stay. I've never been to a hotel that has that. Anyways, here is like the best part. Look at this bathroom, y'all. And I was really excited about the toilet, which has a bidet. So that's when you know you're not in the US anymore. Look at this bathtub. I mean, this is just crazy. Look at this bathroom. I mean, this is just gorgeous. Wow, I'm so excited. Ordered myself some breakfast. And just like this hotel room, it is next level. I hope this makes me poop. Passion fruit? Oh my god, that is so good. I have to eat this in like 10 minutes. I actually have a tour today for three hours. I did not sleep on the plane whatsoever. Like I am running on an all-nighter. I literally have like 24 hours in, in Bangkok and I'm not gonna waste it. This is our sweet ride just for the day. It's a giving age of mob wives, I'm just telling you. It's very extra and I love it. And we're on our way to a dessert making class. Where, where are we going? The garden called? Uh, Pong Jai Garden. Pong Jai Garden. Means pride. Proud. Proud garden. Our proud garden. And so far I've learned to say two things. I can say thank you. Kop Kung Ka. Good. Good. And Saudi Ha. Mm -hmm. Which is hello. Saudi Ha. Saudi Ha. Ka. Ka. Yes, the K. Saudi Ha.
four hours in Bangkok. We are currently packing like fiends and I gotta go pack. Seeing amazing people who used to work in public policy. So it's like, they're just they're some of the nicest and the good people, honestly. <laughs> Like decorate with flowers and make a flower petal carpet. Mom's one breakfast here oh, in yeah. Bangkok. And this is where the Chinese arrived with their ship. My mom did her homework on random Thai history facts and is now telling them. Telling all the facts she knows to our tour guide. I'm 19 years old. Uh, now you have this good amount of freedom. Well, big jackpot. It's not. It's not yet this year. It's not. Not. Not very lucky in love this year. <laughs> oh, but but stay cool and calm. Okay. Uh, the right guy is coming. Uh, lotus flowers for her mother-in-law. For her future mother-in-law. Not getting it, huh? Adia and Sophie, mother and daughter, donating to the reclining Buddha temple together, so that they can be together again in the next lifetime. Yeehaw! Thank you so much for joining my tour. This is George in Bangkok. I'm right here. Mom is studying with her, oh, your chocolate? With her book and then her multiple printed itineraries. <laughs> Are you excited? We were literally here for four hours. I feel like we've done so much. Lena, and yeah. she's our tour guide. You're here with us for like, what, four days? Yes, four welcome days. to Chiang Mai. Welcome to my city. <laughs> oh, mommy, you look so cute. Wait, I'm gonna take a picture. Okay, we're in the countryside. Drove an hour outside of the city of Chiang Mai. We're here at this little coffee shop. We're in a little side town called On Thai. I need to check on my pronunciation of that. But we're here and we're doing a bunch of stuff today. Like today is really packed. We're going to like a mulberry farm, or DIY workshop for dyeing like fabric, on mask workshop, cooking class. Mom loves the coffee here. Cheers. And she talks a lot on caffeine. <laughs> it's definitely a lot of sugar. Diabetes can't stop me. So cute. Oh. is known for yes northern area the signature dish of northern thailand khao soy it's so yummy okay so i squeeze the lime khao soy means crispy noodle mm -hmm. am i saying it right with the tones yeah khao soy khao soy khao soy tao khao soy tao yeah <laughs> it's really good oh really kind of mm -hmm. mm -hmm. oh, that's so yummy all i can ever be to you is a darn step we know and this regret i got Custom too. Once was the ride when we were at our high, waiting for you in the hotel at night. I knew I had him at my match, but every moment we get snatched. I don't know why I got so attached. It's my responsibility. And you don't own nothing to me, but to walk away, I have no progressive. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my mom almost didn't come, why? I was very, very sick. Very sick? I'm gonna die. But now we are gonna take this raft. How did they get the raft here? Dude, there are so many. <laughs> They're right behind you. 
Oh my god. Oh, look at the little baby. Wow. Oh, that one's pooping. This is our little cabin homestay. I don't know if we can even call it a cabin. It's more like a tree house. Here's the view and my mom just took a bath there with this view. We're setting up a little barbecue. Mom, are you coming? What? Coming. Wow. Holding on for dear life. I feel sick. Yeah. We're sad because this is our last day in Chiang Mai. We love Chiang Mai and we love Paulina who is our tour guide. We've really, really bonded with her. And Ending our final day in Chiang Mai here at Chef Guy's little house restaurant. Go check on my mom. She always has a lot of questions about This little leaf here is called Pak Thai. It has a very distinctive taste. It's like... <laughs> So wow. <laughs> you wanna cut it, Mom? Chonga! Oh, Chonga! Wow. Our last Chonga! Oh, oh yummy! Okay, cut it. They look like bean. They like to stir northern Italian. Wow. Homegrown chrysanthemum flower oh, tea. Mom, this is your literally your dream meal. Oh, I'm totally DMing you all the time. This is is, is it from our garden? Isn't the, oh my god, it's just the actual flower. Chonga! <laughs> I don't know the name of the hotel. Tukak. Tukak. Uh, tuk. We're at <laughs> the Tukak. <laughs> we're at the Tukak Hotel in Krabi. It's Krabi. 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 I think so. It's beautiful. It's the most beautiful beach ever. Here, after I tilt it up, <laughs> this is the most beautiful beach I've ever seen. It's like a and, bunch um, of cannons in Cannon Beach. Oh, See? yes, then, it's a well, bunch of can, cannons in Cannon can Beach. Do it <laughs> no. Oh, wow. Look at this. But it's lots of people lounging around. I'm here with my gorgeous daughter, Nadia. We had a nice nap on the way back. Big nap. Big nap. Mom turns into a, a sea toddler when she's eating. It's true, but it's okay. I do too. Wow. Or you want to take a picture? You're not gonna eat the view. Oh, this looks so good. I welcome to our crib. <laughs> you want me to make you? Yeah. Give us the tour. Come on in. Here's the tour. This is a beautiful bed. Uh, the helm is teak. It's a, it's beautiful. Our view of the. Waters are here. The couple about to copulate is there. <laughs> Get a <it>, room! Sorry. <laughs> um, if you come this way, my favorite part of all of the rooms is the, the bathroom. bathroom. It's the bathroom. It's beautiful. And the outside Shower. bath. The outside bath and shower. Wow. Pedals, a waterfall bathtub, and an outdoor shower. Okay, I think our um, bags are here. Oh, hello, hello, Saudi ka. It's mud on the dance floor. You better not kill the groom, DJ. Gonna burn this goddamn house right down. Four, three, two, one. And I've been in this hammock. Oh wow, look! Oh, yeah. Should we stand up now? What's going? I'm gonna stay back here because fire dancing makes me nervous. Why aren't they getting burned? Mom is having the best time though, it's so cute. And we're having a great time, I'm having a great time. I feel like I'm back in high school, I'm in climbing gear. I used to do this quite often in high school at like Smith Rock, but now we're here. Look how gorgeous this is. Riley Beach. Hans, what is this, what is this called again? Watch it, watch. One, two, three. One, two, three. So we're starting here, you're going there, or you can go there. My guide setting up ponds. Last day in paradise. Mom, what are we doing? Huh? We're snorkeling. We're snorkeling. Tell us a little bit about where we are, what we're doing. We're at Chicken Island because it looks like a chicken. We're going to. We don't have to wear life jackets though. Yeah, I don't think we have. Leo with the snorkel. Wow. Oh my gosh. I don't know. How deep is it? Ah, I don't know. Are you guys snorkeling? Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> they set up a whole picnic. Oh, that's the cake. I need to take out my retainer. What do you think this is? Last dinner! It's the view! Good evening! Hi. How are you? Hi. Is everything okay yes, so beautiful. far? Yes, thank you, thank you for joining the, the buffet. Today. Oh, thank you! Will you explain what is happening with the buffet? Yes, okay. we have um, most of the appetizers. How did you end up here? Uh, you got married? You so. <laughs> to a Thai person? Sweet. My wife's Thai. Oh. Where did you the eye contact. Oh, I did. Except you did it like this. <laughs> it's our last night in Thailand. We've been here nine days. Yeah. I have a D resort and it is gorgeous. I'm sharing a glass of one of the many bottles of champagne and wine that has been given to us, but this is our first and last drink. We had a beautiful day today. Thank you, Nadia. I'm red both because of the champagne and because of misapplied sunscreen. Uh, we went to four islands today by boat. Um, we ate at one, we had a picnic lunch, at another one we swam. At low tide you could cross between the sands to the different islands. We snorkeled, Nadia and I both snorkeled. I haven't snorkeled with Nadia since she was five years old. We saw schools of lionfish and uh, rainbow fish and what looked like in summer what we call wrasse. I also saw needlefish and one clam on the one brain coral that I think was left in all of this beach. It's very sad actually. And there's cheese and wine in the cave. Mm. Nadia and I rappelled down sheer vertical cliffs with sometimes swinging into Wedges with I think a rope. Definitely death moments, at least a dozen times up and a dozen if times down. If I had down. to choose my like one moment that is so memorable and my favorite part of the trip, it would honestly be that. Oh, absolutely. It would be the lagoon. Absolutely. Because it was like off on our own and it was so unexpected because we had misread the map. <laughs> and I was like, oh, we're going to the beach. And then we, instead we ended we up We thought this... we were coming here. Yeah. And uh, we and they said, oh, it's a little hike up and down. But it wasn't a hike. It was a steep, like, climbing. Like the type of thing that would never be allowed in the U.S.? Oh, never. 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 Like climbing on what would be landslides in, in the water, uh, in the rain. I'll be honest. My two favorite parts of this trip, and there were many, 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 but what my body liked, the goon and um, close two and three, was I spent two hours in an infinity bathtub outdoors. It really <laughs> was two hours. Hotels. And it had a waterfall, like waterfall heat coming out. There were jasmine petals. <laughs> and Nadia was inside our beautiful teak house. And it was after Nadia and I had spent an hour doggy paddling in our private pool. And a fire front. show. And, a hand and there had been a fire show. Yeah, so. Um, so my body loved the water, a lot of the water parts, and I'm like, oh, if I could in my life have an outdoor bathtub and shower that just flowed and a little infinity pool that I just go in any time. <laughs> um, and a little lagoon, but I don't think I'm gonna be hiking that again. Mom really liked the private pool. I, I really, I really like the private pool. I, I honestly think the thing that I will remember the most is the homestead. Oh, it was just yeah. like the homestead was in amazing. the middle of nowhere. Favorite? Oh, bamboo. We were on a bamboo raft that they lashed together with bamboo or fronds, palm fronds, and they send it upstream, and we go downstream. They take them apart and bring them up and reuse the bamboo. So we thought we would be rafting, but we, was, they made seats for us. They made they actually we watched them as they wove seats, seats for, us for us because the water comes in. But my, that was another favorite part was sitting with Nadia floating down the river. We saw water buffalo. Which, well, we didn't see them. Oh, we, we went swam through with a them. herd. <laughs> we went through a herd. No, we really of water buffalo. They were like twenty butts. Okay, maybe like a dozen butts. <laughs> That, um, that we went through. That was amazing. That was great. And, and even our guides were all like, wow. Yeah, that never, never happens. It. There were water buffalo coming down from the mountains. And that homestay was amazing. I took a, another bath moment 
Yeah. I was taking a bath on the outdoor terrace of the homestay. But that wasn't an enjoyable bath. That was like, I puked on myself in the <laughs> car and I need to wash myself off. I was not about to get out and go on this hike. <laughs> well, we didn't have that vlog. I was so But sick. essentially, we, we like, <laughs> we're driving and it starts getting windy. And mom's like, you know what? I'm getting motion sick. I need to take a nap. So she like leans her chair back and she's like, this. she's like, Gonna take a nap, I'm and breathing. I think she's I'm fully asleep. Like no, we I'm haven't heard from her breathing. maybe in like 45 minutes. No. Haven't slept. You, you know what's asleep. going through my mind? I, it was at that moment that I realized I have traveled all over the world <laughs> because every time I was in a foreign country, car sick on some but windy mountain road, came in my head, and I didn't realize I traveled so much. And she goes, like, "Does anyone have a bag? I need a bag. I need a bag." No. <laughs> and I said, "Can you pull over?" I said, "Can you pull over?" Can you pull over? Project out. I project I was out. such a good daughter though. I was like cleaning up the puke. She looked like this. She was so smiley and <laughs> clean. I was like, look at me being I a good daughter. Out. I've never projectile. I'm but. you definitely have projectile. But anyways, it's been a beautiful trip. <laughs> and we had a, had an amazing time. And this is our first international trip. Together. First of many. Well, we've done the a couple with family. This is this is our first one-on-one -on -one international trip. Cheers. Cheers. Where do we go next? Mm-hmm.